I supposed to do? God damn it. I'm probably gonna end up like Andre. Okay. What the fuck? What do you see? What is it? Where are you going? Back here. No! In June 2016, at Sony's E3 press conference, Capcom delivered one of the best executed game announcements, bar none. Surprisingly, the brilliance of the reveal had little to do with the trailer itself. Instead, Capcom capitalized on various different gamer emotions at the time, some unintentional, but effective all the same. To start, one must understand the history of the PT demo from Hideo Kojima and Konami. PT, which stands for Playable Teaser, was a first-person horror game and demo revealed at Gamescom 2014, though at the time its link to Kojima was unknown. It wasn't until players got their hands on the demo that, upon completion, it was discovered that P.T. was the next entry in the Silent Hill franchise directed by Hideo Kojima and with support from Guillermo del Toro and Norman Reedus. Silent Hill, of course, being the main horror franchise competitor to Resident Evil. Unfortunately, Konami and Kojima parted ways, to put it lightly. 
PT was removed from the PlayStation Store in 2015, and hopes for the Silent Hill franchise to return were squashed. This was absolutely devastating, as the PT demo was critically acclaimed and hinted at a game that would have been very special. Shortly after PT's removal from PSN, Sony held arguably their most impactful E3 conference to date in June 2015. It was jam-packed with game updates and announcements, topped off by the legendary trio of The Last Guardian, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and Shenmue 3. As the year went on, Sony also began gearing up for the 2016 release of PlayStation VR, PSVR, the virtual reality headset for PS4. So what does all of this have to do with Resident Evil 7? Well, fast forward to June 2016 and Sony's E3 press conference. Everyone was wondering how Sony could possibly top their 2015 showcase. Well, they started the show with a live orchestra and the reveal of God of War, which was fantastic, but more was going to be needed to live up to the previous year. Enter Capcom and Resident Evil 7. The reveal begins with the words, Full PSVR Experience. Now, depending on your interest in virtual reality, this may have been a bit disarming. No one expected a full numbered entry in a significant franchise to be announced as a VR title. Immediately following, the words before Kitchen appeared, and while this likely didn't mean much to most, Kitchen was Capcom's PSVR tech demo from 2015, and at the time, had no link to Resident Evil. Still, this would have tipped off a small group that this was a game from Capcom. For the masses, however, they did not know. Personally, knowing it near impossible, as I watched the trailer unfold, my inner gamer hopes and dreams were focused on nothing but willing this game into being Silent Hills. It was first-person horror, it had photorealistic visuals, it involved exploring a home with spooky folks appearing and disappearing. The trailer leaned into PT hard, and after the zeitgeist of sadness from what Konami did with Silent Hills, everyone needed some hope. As the Go Tell Aunt Rhodey cover began to play, my mind was racing to find an answer. Was this Silent Hills? If not, what was it? Because for a VR game, it looked amazing. So, who made this? What, what could it be? Not once did I think of Resident Evil. I mean, it couldn't be, right? Resident Evil wasn't first person. Resident Evil wouldn't be released as a VR game. The Roman numeral 7 appears on screen, and it's like, uh, oh, okay, I, I guess it's some new franchise. Then the rest of the Resident Evil letters appear, overlapping with the 7 Roman numeral. Absolute perfection. You can hear the shock of the E3 crowd, and there's plenty of YouTube reactions out there to show how big a moment this was. Capcom and Resident Evil were coming to fill the void left by Konami and Silent Hills, and if there was any franchise that could do it, it would be Resident Evil. But it didn't end there. The game was announced with a release date a mere seven months away, which for something as big as Resident Evil is pretty unusual. And for the cherry on top, following in Kojima's footsteps with PT, Capcom announced a demo available later that day, confirming the game would work on a base PS4 without the need for PSVR. While Sony's 2016 E3 showing didn't quite hit the levels of 2015, the Resident Evil 7 reveal is one of the best at a Sony conference or otherwise. If you like this video, be sure to check out the other entries in our Art of Hype series for analysis on other hype-worthy trailers.